In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be breaking down how Poison runs the best defense in Madden 21. We're going to be talking through his defensive strategy and kind of sharing how uh, one of the guys sent me a message, one of my subscribers, he sent me a text, which if you don't know my number, it'll pop up on the screen here in just a second. But he said, could you break down Poison's defense? He's run the best defense that I have seen all season long and so that's what we're going to do in this video now if you don't know who i am my name is cody and basically what the channel is all about here is we're all about helping you get better at madden through tips through strategies like this where we basically break down different play setups different strategies and kind of talk you through different tips for how to get better at this game so if you want to get better at madden i would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen it uh, allows you to get access to all of our videos and we upload four videos every single day um, that are designed to give you different tips and strategies both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball now poison ran the new york giants playbook and the primary defense that he was using was the nickel two four five double a gap now a lot of pro players are using this right now um, a lot of players really really enjoy this defense because of the fact that it allows you to not only be able to send heavy pressure but it also allows you to be able to have really really good coverage and we're going to break down exactly some of the concepts that poison was doing so we're going to jump right in here uh, to the video and if you have any questions um, you can always shoot me a text message. My number is on the screen, 812-216-3644. So um, Poison was facing with was facing uh, TNC Lord Kev, and one of the things that TNC's Lord Kev was running was a lot of this bunch offset, double post, you know, mesh post, different things like that. And so uh, we're going to jump right in here. Now, I'm not 100% sure that these are his coaching adjustments, but these were the ones that I would recommend with the curl flats at 25 yards or 20 yards, somewhere in there, and then having, you know, pretty much everything else as is right here. The trick with this is we're going to jump right in. We're going to give you a couple of setups out of this defense. So um, all we're going to do is we're going to put our best pass rushers in, and then we're going to make sure that we have very our fastest guys here. We want to make sure that our user is oftentimes going to be one of these two safeties. So what I like to do is I like to put Perry Nickerson on the outside, and then I'll typically put Kevin King at one of the users. I think he's a really, really good user. Uh, and then I'll put Adrian Amos down here with Will Redmond, and then we'll you know put Kader Holman at the slot corner. I think the Packers are the best defense in the entire game. Um, and the audibles we're going to set, honestly, we don't really have to set any. Um, but in my personal opinion, I would actually set the buck zone blitz or um, another another defense that you could set would be this. Um, oh, gosh, where is it at? Not the nickel overload. Let me find it here really quickly. Uh, the will three buzz. Uh, you could set that will three buzz as an audible as well. That's going to send heavy pressure. So uh, we're going to come out in mid blitz every play. That's the base. That's the foundation. And I'm going to jump right in and show you the pressure, um, the pressure really, really quickly. So mid blitz and the beauty of this is all we're going to simply do is we're going to press coverage that's pretty much it you don't have to do anything really else to it there's a couple things you can do to make the pressure a little bit better like crash your line out but basically you want to blitz your user and you want your user to kind of stand right here and hover in the a gap and basically what you're going to do is if the running back goes out on a route you're going to guard the running back if the running back does not go on a route then what you're going to simply do here is you're going to um then then you're going to rush in so you'll see here if the running back goes on a route i'm just going to go get him and as you see here you're going to get two people free right at the quarterback it's a super super simple blitz literally all we're doing is we're press coveraging we're going to bring our user right here that's it that's the setup that's literally it i'm not going to make any other adjustments whatsoever and you're going to see this is going to absolutely scream off the edges you see right there you're going to get heavy heavy pressure sending only you're only sending six people um, as well, which is really, really nice. So the next thing that's going to happen here is what if the running back blocks? Well, if the running back blocks, you're going to come down just a little bit longer. Um, so if the running back blocks like here, um, you're going to see, I'm going to come down just a little bit longer, get the running back to kind of take me. And then that's going to allow me to get that pressure. So that's really it. I mean, there's really nothing else to this. Um, there's some other things that you can do to, you know, kind of play with the pressure a little bit, make it some better against some certain things. But I like to keep it super, super simple so that I have the most amount of time for adjustments. So again, literally all I'm doing is I'm taking the safety, whoever's guarding the running back, whichever safety is guarding the running back, that's who I'm going to go get on. And if he blocks the running back, 
we're just going to come down like this. Now, one thing I do want you to know is against against gun bunch, against gun bunch, if they block both the tight end and the running back, then you're going to be basically screwed. Okay, you you might be able to get some pressure in here, but you'll see here the pressure does get kicked, does get picked up against max protect. So that's one thing that I would um, just you know be aware of here. And again, you can you can do different things. Like you could spread your line, you could crash your line out to kind of try to make the pressure a little bit better. In my opinion, it doesn't actually do that much for you. You're still going to have that number one issue, which is if they max protect, you're going to be you're going to be kind of SOL. Like you're you're not going to be able to get the pressure in. Now, now really quickly, don't don't get me wrong. If you're facing gun bunch and they start max protecting, just take your slot corner and blitz him off the edge. That's literally all I'm gonna do, and you're gonna see against Max Protect, we're gonna have a pretty decent op, op or a pretty decent chance to be able to get this pressure in. Now, the one thing I would say is the the one issue that we might run into is you see these guys are stacking here, so that's just something that you have to be aware of. Um, what you might do to get around that is if you base align twice, where basically you're base aligning and you're unbase aligning, that could help some of that. Uh, with the alignments with the alignment issues just make sure when you do this you want to bring everybody into the box you really want to be able to disguise this so they never know you know what's going on but you see right here that gives really good pressure against a max protect if they max protect i send every you know i send the slot corner so that's just something that again you know the more you the more you run this scheme uh the more you can actually you know get out of this so um i would recommend highly you know doing something like if you spread your line, sometimes you'll get a better alignment. There's things like that that you can do. Um, just understand, you know, if he's max protecting and he's doing it a lot, this is a really good way to get some extra pressure. As you see right there, we're going to still scream against a max protect. Now, the thing that is the, the, the trick of this defense is that you mix it up. And you're not always going to be doing the same thing. That's the trick of the defense. So uh, one of the other things I want to show you first and foremost is the zone pressure. So that's why we have Will 3 Buzz in our audibles. And all we're going to do for this is we're just simply going to press our coverage. And we're going to globally blitz our linebackers straight down. And we're going to globally, uh, we're going to crash our line out. Just like this. Very simple. Very, very simple, right? And what I like to do is I like to play a soft squat, especially if I'm playing bunch. I like to put a soft squat on the other side. If you are facing trips tight end or something, you might not want to do that. But this is the same pressure. If the running back goes out, I'm just coming over here to the left side to take that read away. But basically, we're going to play hard flats. We're going to get really aggressive. And we're going to take some stuff away. Now, the next thing that I like to tell people uh, when, they want to run, when they want to learn and when they want to run this scheme is, in my opinion, one of the big keys to this is getting as close as you can to the line of scrimmage. If you can start, like, literally right here, I think this helps a lot with the pressure. I really, really do. And I think it not only helps with the pressure, it does help with the run defense as well from this. Because if they try to run the ball, they're really not going to be able to do that. Now, the next thing that I want to share with you is the coverage defense. And there's several different coverages that you can create. The, really, the, the idea is limitless. But I want to share with you two of the most simple coverage defenses that you can run that are kind of a really, really good bang for your buck. And the first one is a simple cover three Mabel. So we're going to go to cover three show two. And all we're going to do is we're going to press coverage. We want everything to look the same. And we're going to bring our user right in this little pocket right here. Now, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to blitz both of our linebackers straight down. And then from that point on, we're going to basically create our adjustments. So what I like to do is I like to put a hard flat on the outside. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shade coverage down once I get two hard flats out there because I want to have those hard flats. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this. Um, I'm going to typically drop this guy on the on the um, the the defensive tackle, I'm going to drop him into a bluff blitz so that I get that three wreck. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to play cover three Mabel on one side. And then on the other side, I'm going to play, you know, kind of a standard, a standard coverage. So you could do something like this. One other thing that I would recommend if you want to run this in particular coverage with this backside guy, um, this this backside linebacker if you want to if you don't want to blitz the linebackers you don't have to what you can do is you can drop one of them into a curl flat you can also blitz them 
it's really up to you. Um, but with, if they have the identifier uh, chemistry on their guys, it might be worth it to always blitz these two linebackers. And I feel like you get really, really good sheds when you blitz these two right up the middle. And then what you're going to be able to do with this backside guy is you can pretty much do whatever you want. I like to put him into a vertical hook to the right side of the screen, as you see right here. And now we're going to have really, really good coverage. Essentially, all they're going to be able to do is throw a cross around to the left side, which I now know that, so I can overplay that right there. So you'll see right here, get them going, and you see you get good coverage, and your job is this area right in here. And pretty much everything is covered uh, when you go to something like that. And as you can see, you'll get the pick or a really, really good defense. Now, really quickly, one of the things I want to share with you is if you would like to pick up my full nickel 335 wide defense, which uses very similar concepts to this, but I believe has a little bit better run defense and has a little bit better coverage defense, you can pick that 335 wide defense up in the description. It's just 15 bucks. It's the best defense in the entire game, and it really walks you through not only how to set up pressures and things like that, but it shows you formation by formation how to stop probably the top three or four four. Uh, most popular formations in Madden. So if you haven't picked up my 335 wide defensive ebook, there is a link in the description for you to be able to do just that. Okay, guys, so the next thing and the last thing I want to show you is a max coverage man defense. And that is where I honestly like to do it out of mid blitz, but a lot of people like to do it out of cover one hole. And so literally this is what it's going to look like right here. We're just going to press coverage, and we're going to bring these guys down. Now, the, the one thing that I want to make sure that you always do is you always want to be blitzing these two linebackers. Always, always, always want to be doing that. So what we're going to simply do here is we're going to blitz our user. We're going to blitz the linebackers, and we press coverage at this point. From that point, we're going to shade coverage outside and shade coverage over top. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to put both of our uh, linemen right here into man coverage on the tight end. Right there, you see that? We're going to make sure we pass commit so that they actually go cover them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take those outside linemen or outside uh, backers and we're going to put them in any zone that we want. I personally will put them in curl flat zones more times than not. And what you'll see right here is these linemen will get out on those flat routes, those quick routes, and pretty much everything is going to be covered. The only thing you're going to have to really worry about is like motion over slants or things like that. But as you can see, it's one of the best coverage, coverage defenses in the game. So in summary, this is how you run this. This is how you run this defense. It's one of the best defenses in the game. But the beauty of it is you don't have to stop there. There's a lot of things that you can do from this. One little strategy is you could do something like this. This is a very, very good defense against Gun Bunch. You can have any coverage shell that you want with heavy, heavy pressure, as you see right there. And you'll be surprised at how good this really works. It's one of the best defenses in the game. So what I want to leave you with is experiment yourself understand it and learn it you want to make sure you're always bringing these safeties down into the box in my personal opinion and then you can do different things like you can put both linebackers in coverage if you wanted to um if you don't want to put the lineman in coverage that's completely understandable so you could do something like this right here it's just cover three mabel that's all it is it's just a simple cover three mabel um but this coverage will get you picks i guarantee it it's very difficult to pass against this defense because you never know are you facing coverage or are you facing pressure you never know what you're facing you're going to get a lot of user picks and in my opinion this is one of the top three to five defenses right now in the madden community but if you want to pick up the absolute best defense in madden 21 right now you can pick my nickel 335 wide defense up and i actually have a free sample for you in my text message membership if you don't know what my text message membership is it is a free service that i offer the madden community where i allow you to not only have my personal cell phone number but i answer any madden questions that you might have so you can always be texting me if you want to my number's in the top left hand corner of your screen it's also in the description so you can always be texting in you can always be asking questions the other thing that you get though with it is every single week i actually release um, more videos, con more more full scheme, more deeper dive videos than what you see on my YouTube channel. These are full defenses, full offenses. Um, the Carolina Bunch, the split close from New England, the um, Minnesota single back trio, different things like that um, in combination with offense and defense, right? So we've got big nickel over G. We've got nickel 335 wide. We're going to have 245 double A gap in there eventually. So if you want to get these advanced schemes, all you have to do is text in. My phone number is 
216-316-3644. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed catching one of the best defenses in the Madden community. I really believe Poison is up there with some of the best defensive minds. And the way that the way that you make your defense successful is not necessarily by just having a great defense, but it's by executing over and over again, mastering your adjustments, disguising it, and Poison does, and the 2 for 5 double A gap does one of my favorite principles of defense in Madden, which is it makes everything look exactly the same. If everything looks exactly the same, the offense cannot identify what you're doing, and it causes them oftentimes to hesitate post-snap, and any type of hesitation that you can get is an advantage to the defense. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to remind you that we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so make sure you ask your questions in the chat. You can always text me my number is in the description thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video later on this afternoon